Ladies and gentlemen, question that I get asked oftentimes is how do I make it so that a sprite can't travel through a part of the drawing or, you know, make walls or something like that. So if you wanted to make a maze or you wanted to make um, Pac-Man or something like that, how can you make it so that the sprite can't go through things? So I just wanted to give you a quick video here that will explain you know how you can how you can make that happen uh, it's really not a you know introductory video for people who are new to App Inventor and because of that I'm going to skip through a lot of the design parts and just talk about the code so the first thing you're going to need to do is have some kind of a picture of a background and it would be best if you drew your own picture because if you don't you don't have as much control over what the colors are and things like that. Um, so I'm going to go over to Piscal, PiscalApp.com. It's um, a place I really like to use just because it's quick and it's easy and I can make easy pictures uh, that, that suit my needs really well. So I chose green for my walls in this example and I'm just going to make some random shapes pretty quickly and, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to fill that in with white. It's really, for this example, really important that I choose white, so hash F, 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 I don't know how many Fs that was. Um, and I'm going to download that as a large size. Um, it's going to be as big as my screen, so I need that to be um, around three, 400 pixels in each direction. Alright, so real quick, I'm just going to tidy up my... Uh, my app here. So I have four buttons at the bottom of the screen and I'm going to name them up, down, right, and left. And I have my uh, canvas above it and I have a ball on the canvas. But you don't need to use a ball. You could have a sprite be that or anything else. So I'm going to head over to blocks and I'm going to click on the up button and find ball one. Set ball one Y two. And now I'm going to do some math. I'm going to set ball 1 y to ball 1 plus 1. Because when I press the up button, I want to increase my y. And I'm going to go back to canvas 1, and I'm going to do an if-then statement. So if call canvas 1 dot get pixel color, and I want the location to be under ball 1, so I'm going to choose ball 1's x and y. So if the color of the pixel under X and Y does not equal white, because see, I don't know what color that green was, then I want to set the um, direction that the ball moves to be the opposite that it just moved. So in other words, I just moved uh, ball 1 to, say, plus 10. If, it, if it's not over white, then I want to move it to minus 10. So it, it effectively goes nowhere. Okay, so now I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm going to choose down button, switch those around, because down is the opposite direction, and now I'm going to duplicate it again, and now I have to switch X for Y and Y for X. So I'll go right to my left button, and I'll change that to X. Um, so in App Inventor, the coordinate system has zero for X and Y in the top left-hand corner, so it's not the same as... Um, maybe the regular Cartesian coordinates that you're used to in, say, math. Um, okay, but at any rate, so now I have my right button, left and right, up and down set up. I'm going to click it over to my emulator so you can see it on the screen. Obviously, I went really fast there. Um, you know, you can pause this and see what I did. Uh, well, my emulator boots up really fast actually doesn't boot up really fast. Well, it takes forever to boot up. And we'll see it on the screen. Okay, so here's my drawing with the ball on it. And if I use my buttons, I can move it down. Uh, what's going up? Okay, right works. Left works. Up goes down, and down goes up. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. I, I lots of times get confused um, thinking that you know moving down you're uh, subtracting but really you're adding to y because it's kind of backwards so it's just easy to change those names 
rather than everything else. And now it works. So when I hit down, it won't go through the green. It'll go into it a little bit because where it measures the, um, the pixel color isn't right necessarily right on the edge, but it still doesn't go through it, when, and that's all I really care about. So now I have myself, you know, kind of a maze, and I can move it up and down. By the way, these buttons that are on the screen as buttons could also be on the screen as um, sprites. You know, I could have sprites that do this as well. Or, or all sorts of other things. I could use the tilt of the app or, you know, I could do it all kinds of ways. But anyway, that's how you make walls in App Inventor. Hope you liked it.